It's XDWC time. Map number one. We're ready. We've got it going on. Uh, yeah, it's a really good map. It's a strafe map. It's built by Ash. There is a weapon in it, uh, which we'll show. But yeah, this is going to be the beginner walkthrough. So if you've never played this game before, you can literally, as long as you can point and jump. But I do recommend watching a couple of tricks because I'm going to be speeding through this a little bit faster by using strafe running. I'm trying to get my arrow into the green just here so that I can go a little bit faster. But all of these bits at the same time, you can just, if you stand at the back here and walk forwards, you can just make it. So all these jumps will be doable by just jumping. If it's simple things like this, I probably won't show it. Uh, but if it becomes a little bit more tricky, I'm going to try and show you routes. So here, first route choice you've got. A lot of route choice in this map, really. If you're going faster and you feel confident being able to make the jump all the way over to just there. I can't shoot. There's no gun in this. Yeah, if you feel confident getting over to there, do it. Go fast, go up here. Otherwise, I think your best bet is probably to come round because then you can just jump over. Remember, you gain speed in Zenotic by just going forwards. So just jump, run and jump. And then stop if you have to, to jump over stuff. But I don't think... Yeah, you can't quite make it that way. Uh, so, yeah, we will carry on. Here, try and hit as many of these down ramps as possible. They'll gain you some speed. Take on the inside line. Jump over there, same thing. Down ramps, there's a few up ramps, as many down ramps. Down and down. Then here, go up the ramp. Try, if you've got speed... Do that. That wasn't too much speed. I reckon most people could probably figure out how to get enough speed to hit that. It will be a matter of spacing whether you're going to smash your head into it. Because if you fall on top of one of these, you just lose speed. If you fall and bounce, you want to bounce about here and then ping off up the top. So, yeah. Otherwise, you know, just go up the stairs. This game is all about improving yourself. So don't worry too much about what other people are doing. Here is another route choice. You have this route. This is the main route. You can either come round the sides here, across here, but I reckon most people can figure out how to bounce between these platforms fairly easily. If you do fall in here, just hold forwards and jump and you get over the top of it. It'll respawn you on that platform. Round the back here, through. Try not to hit all those walls that I did. And then you are into this room with this checkpoint here. We're now going to go back to that last room, so don't do this. You want to head off over that direction, and I'll show you that in a second, but I'm going to show you the second route because it's a bit too far in the game. So that's what I would recommend for most people, but if you're a little bit more comfortable with the game, nobody's worked out what's faster at the minute. Uh, so we're still experimenting in terms of faster, but it could be personal. If you have good aim, Hit this, get the vortex, hit yourself down, land onto this slick and get yourself a nice fat speed boost. If you're comfortable with slick and then you can probably get yourself up to there. This bit, so these stairs are really well placed. If you can get yourself to just jump right before them, you'll just float up them. Here, this is where we've rejoined by the way. So we rejoin, you either come out of... Hole A for left, hole B for right, or out of the slick, just here. And then depending on your speed, you might be cutting straight across. You might be coming up here. You might want to go for this. We're not quite sure yet. You might want to go all the way around. If you end up coming up this ramp just here, uh, you will have to end up coming around here, going up here. Then you're in the middle. I nearly managed to jump the whole thing. This one, you can just jump it here. Your other option, if you're just walking, you can make that. I did do it earlier. Hold on. Weak. So for one, you can try getting some spacing, but I did make it. Really? Come on. I actually, I definitely made it earlier. Is it this one? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, actually. Can you just do this? Yeah, hold forwards and jump, and you will clear all of those gaps. Just like that. So, yeah, if you fall in, hold forwards and jump. Your other option is you can get a double jump off the side of one of these. Just like that. And then you can kaboing. If you're a little bit more technically technically into the game, you might be able to, might be able to figure that out. It's actually quite difficult to do at that slow speed. Uh, so you would also have to be, you know, a little bit faster. 
but that's a way to sort out some spacing issues. Uh, left or right here, exactly the same. They are mirrored. I tend to swing left. Is this left? Yes, this is left. So, yeah, they are mirrored. The only difference is this hole. That's going to be awkward spacing for anyone coming left, I reckon. It's actually going to be awkward spacing. Can I show minimap? Uh, can't figure. Donk. Minimap. So, yeah. Going this way. Ignore these unless you think you can make that jump. Uh, otherwise, just run up the ramp here. Fall down here. And I'm going to try not to fall into holes. Take the shortest path. Remembering that, of course, you can just jump across. Remember, if you come from Quake 3, we don't have skimming in this game. Now here, you want to be taking quite a lot of speed. I'm in fact actually just going to go back a bit for this. Can I get back? I might not be able to get back. We may be doing a, we're doing a run through the map again, quick. Oh, hold on. We're getting back to there. I want to show something off. For people who are ever so slightly faster at this game, this is my very basic route that I've come up with immediately as I'm watching this map and trying to work out beginner's routes. So this is definitely a map that an intermediate player, uh, a track, uh, uh, this is a route that an intermediate player, I consider myself upper intermediate, but this is definitely a route that an upper, in, uh, an intermediate player should be able to pick up fairly, fairly quickly. Yeah, you're going to be coming so fast across there that you have to do that. I want to get up to that top platform there because that's a bit awkward. Then I'm going to do that bounce, I'm going to do that, then we're probably going to be coming across and... Oh, that, yeah, that's not going to matter. Here's what I mean. So, if you want to do that, you can do that. But, um, yeah. So, if you've got speed, you can come up and try to make it up higher. And you want to try and get up onto that platform. If not, you can just walk up this. Jump across this. Up here. Oop. Don't fall in that hole. Up here, up here. It is a bit awkward and it's definitely not... Like, from what I can see, it's not possible to try and get a double jump and get up to there. So you are just going to have to go all the way around. At which point, don't fall in the holes. You're very close to the finish. Get a down ramp there. Try to hit as many... Da I missed every single down ramp. Try and hit these down ramps as you're just going forwards. You know, try and do it. And yeah, there you are. Quite a long overview, actually, um, because there's quite a lot of route options. And I did want something that I did want to do from last year is to show people kind of progression that they might be able to make. So if you're coming across here and you're bonking into this, if you try to make your spacing work so that you land right at the bottom of this bit, you'll jump really high and then you'll make it up and over. And the aim is to get up and over and through the first checkpoint. So... Yeah, thank you very much to Ash for making this map. This map is going to be running for a week from the upload of this. XDF, xdwc.xdf.gg is the website you want to go to to have a look. Get in game. Zonotic's a great game, if you've not seen it before. And yeah, hopefully we'll see you in game. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the game. Feel free to ask anyone questions. We're, we won't bite, probably. Maybe. Unless you ask. Anyway, yeah. Thank you very much. See ya.